Hello, my name is Asil Khamisi, and today I'll be showing you my project, which is an app called Together. Firstly, I'll be introducing myself. Secondly, I'll be introducing my app. Thirdly, I'll be saying my reason for choosing this project and how will it help the society. Firstly, I'll be talking about the technology behind this project, and I will be giving a vote of thanks to all of the people who supported me. After that, I'll be walking you through the app user manual. And finally, I'll be demonstrating my project. I'm a grade 11 Egyptian student currently residing in Lebanon. What defines me is my unique blend of passions and interests. Science has always been my guiding star. As the research department head at our school's biology club, I lead a team committed to unraveling the mysteries of the world. It's my pride and joy, and it's where I've found a real home for my scientific curiosity. Beyond the microscope and the lab, I'm an avid reader, exploring an array of book genres, from the classics to the latest in science fiction. Books fuel my imagination and keep my mind agile. I'm equally captivated by the world of technology. Coding is my canvas, where I craft ideas into reality, turning lines of code into functioning programs. When I'm not in the world of books, science, or tech, you'll find me on the basketball court. The fast-paced action and teamwork make it a deeply passionate pursuit. Now I will be introducing my app. Introducing Together, an innovative app designed to empower its users to take control of their health. With Together, Individuals can assess their risk for diabetes and a range of mental health conditions. Thanks to its user-friendly features and comprehensive resources, this app is specially tailored to cater students and individuals who may be at risk for diabetes. My goal is simple yet impactful, to assist as many people as possible in managing their health and well-being through accessible and informative technology. My reason for choosing this project. Diabetes and mental health issues, while distinct, share a close relationship. Firstly, both present challenging recovery journeys, and not everyone successfully overcomes them. These conditions can affect anyone at any point in their life. In both cases, early detection significantly enhances a person's chances of successful confrontation and management, as it provides more time to address the issues proactively. The technologies behind this project. JobLib, a critical component in my project. This library excels at preserving and retrieving machine learning models. I use it to load pre-trained models for making predictions in the domains of mental health and diabetes, enhancing the accuracy of my assessments. Pickle, this Python library for serializing and deserializing objects plays an important role in my diabetes prediction feature. Skitlearn, the powerhouse be behind my project's machine learning cap capabilities. Skitlearn is an important library that handles various machine learning tasks. Photo image, a secondary component. Photo image allows me to display images directly within the main application window. This feature adds a visually engaging aspect to my application and enhances the user experience, making complex data and predictions more accessible and engaging. Joining these tools in my project empowers me to harness the potential of machine learning and AI to provide accurate mental health di and diabetes predictions while ensuring an intuitive and user-friendly interface through TechInter. Acknowledgements. Firstly, I would like to express my deep gratitude to my wonderful family. They provided me with a fantastic opportunity. Their unwavering encouragement and support supported me throughout my journey. They were a constant source of inspiration. Secondly, I would like to express my sincere thanks to my outstanding and committed teacher. Her enormous help in navigating path, direction, mentorship, and dedication to my education um, inspired me and increased my knowledge. Um, finally, I would like to express my profound gratitude to Mr. Ken Khan, 
He gave me an amazing opportunity and entrusted me with this incredible chance. Now I'll be walking you through the app user manual. The first feature is the diabetes prediction function. Use this feature to estimate your risk of diabetes and input your health data accurately to receive meaningful results. The second feature is the mental health prediction feature. Assess your well mental well-being with our mental health prediction tool. Answer questions honestly for accurate results. Please remember that this is not a substitute for professional help. Seek help if needed. Thirdly, predict anxiety. Use this tool to predict whether or not you are suffering from anxiety. Fourthly, predict depression. Find out if you are suffering from depression using this feature. Uh, number five, predict panic attack. Determine if you are at risk of a panic attack. Seek treatment recommendation. This, tools, this tool helps you decide whether you should seek professional medical treatment for your health conditions. And course list. It's a button that displays a list of courses along with their corresponding numbers of for course selection. I will explain this feature further throughout my presentation. And finally, closing the app by pressing the X button. Now I'll be showing you how to use the app. Uh, first of all, you begin by launching the Together app on your device. After that, you will be greeted by the main menu, which serves as the gateway uh, to various health prediction and support features. The main window contains three main um, features, the logo, the introduction, and the mental health prediction and the diabetes prediction features. Let's say you wanted to use the mental health prediction feature. You will provide the required information honestly for the gender, age, and now for the course, you'll have to press the course list button to view the number corresponding to your course. For example, I'm majoring in economics, um, which, is, which is number is 24. I'll have to enter 24 in the entry for the course, and then you will continue entering the others normally. After providing, after providing your information correctly, uh, you can choose any of the features, predict depression, predict anxiety, predict panic attack, or predict seek the doctor treatment. You simply need to click the predict depression button, for example, and the app will show you a pop-up message that will tell you whether or not you're suffering from depression. Let's say you want to know if you're suffering from anxiety, you click the predict anxiety button and the app will predict your risk of anxiety. Another example, you want to use the feature of predict panic attack. You will click the predict panic attack button and the app will predict your risk of having a panic attack. Um, and now, um, let's say you want to know if you should seek doctor treatment. We'll press the predict seek doctor treatment button and the app will suggest whether or not you should seek medical treatment. Now, let's say you wanted to use the diabetes prediction feature. Uh, you will input your health data accurately and correctly first. Then you will have to click the diabetes prediction button on the main menu. Uh, you will be greeted with a pop-up message that will tell you whether or not you have diabetes. And finally, if you want to exit the app, you will have to press the X button. The first step is to run the app. You will be greeted by the main window. You can choose between the mental health prediction feature and the diabetes prediction feature. Let's say I chose the mental health prediction feature. I'm going to input the data of a real student. She's a female, her age is 18, she studies engineering, and she's in her first year of university. The GPA is from 3 to 3.49, her marital status is no, so it's a zero. Let's predict depression. You are suffering from depression, and she is suffering from depression. 
predict anxiety. You are suffering from anxiety and she is suffering from anxiety. Predict panic attack. You are suffering from panic attacks and she is suffering from panic attacks. Predict seek doctor's treatment. You should seek doctor treatment. Now let's say you chose to use the diabetes prediction function. I'm going to input the data of a patient. You do not have diabetes and the patient does not have diabetes. Thank you so much for your time.